Greetings, my name is John Gabriel and this is the New Calculus channel. Today I'm going to give you a comparison between the mainstream formulation which is flawed and the New Calculus and it's going to show you how uh, you can derive the same thing using both ways. So let's begin. Now, I taught uh, several curricula whilst I was teaching. I taught the AP Calculus, AB and BC, and I also taught the IB higher level mathematics and also the A level with further pure uh, mathematics. So I've taught all those curriculum <clears throat> over a period of several years. Curricula over a period of several years. So I don't know why. Uh, okay, so so on the left hand side here, you'll see how we find the integral of this function using the bogus mainstream formulation. So if you look at this uh, definition here, basically what you have to do is you have to utilize this fact here that this definite integral is equal to what you see on the right hand side over here, okay? So, and then you've got to go through a, a very long process of reducing it and eventually finding how it's evaluated in the mainstream, but that's not a good method and it's actually flawed because ultimately as n gets very large, so this is n and n is reflected in here, as it gets very large, these values here, which have an n in the denominator, go get closer to zero. And so supposedly uh, all that remains is 54, 36 and 8, okay? And, but as you can see, I mean, n never actually gets to be an infinitely large number. And that's not how this value of 98, which is certain, is found. Whereas in the new calculus, you will have an exact value, okay? And in the new calculus, as you see over here in this box, the mean value theorem is what helps you to find the area, okay? So what you're really doing is you're finding a mean height, which is this dotted green line here, which happens to be 49, and you're multiplying it by the width of the interval that you're in. So you're multiplying it by uh, 2 in this case. But if, for example, you did this, then your area is 117 because the height of this mean here is 39. Okay, it's 39 as you see in these coordinates here. And the interval width is 3. Okay, so 39 times 3 is 117. But on this side here in the bogus calculus, you have to actually evaluate the limit or the sum to n terms, depending on what k is. Okay, so if, if k is n, then you replace k by the sum, right? And similarly, if uh, you get a k squared, then you need the sum of integral powers of 2 right? And I wrote an article uh, many years ago. Let me just find it. Yeah. Uh, pro probably more than two decades ago, showing you a very neat method. Uh, first of all, I explained the entire method to you. It's over about four pages. I'll show you why the method works. And then I show you how in this on this last page to a simple trick to find the sum of any integral power of a series okay so it doesn't matter which one it is if you use this trick you'll be able to find it very easily and you don't have to remember anything so that's the nice thing about my method and it's based on Newton's finite differences so uh, so you can see how complicated this here is and it's it's actually flawed because the area is not defined in terms of limit it's actually defined in terms of two arithmetic means, right? The arithmetic mean of all the vertical line lengths in the shaded region 
and uh, the arithmetic mean of all the horizontal lines. What this means is that you reduce this entire area into a rectangle. So you'll probably have a rectangle like this over here, right? Just like that. And, and then uh, you simply multiply the two means, the two arithmetic means, like I've shown you here. So for example, f prime of this value here, where you see the arithmetic mean, and it gives you the area, which is a set, which is the shaded red area. Okay, so it's very simple in the new calculus. This is it, and it's it's the same for any and every function in the new calculus, as you see here on the right hand side. There is no need to resort to the uh, the rot of limits or limit theory and infinitesimals or any of this nonsense here. You don't have to waste your time with this. And this, by the way, in the mainstream, is not the reason why calculus works. The reason why calculus works is this little theorem here, which is the mean value theorem that I've shown you here. And I was the first to discover this in human history. Now, if you multiply this by b minus a, you get the integral that you're evaluating here. Okay? So, I hope you've enjoyed this little presentation and that you will join me again sometime i will actually put a link to these applets that i've shown you here oh by the way there's one more thing i wanted to mention before i sign off now in in uh, other areas such as let's say the gauss function which is here over here there is no arithmetic mean okay so it's evaluated according to the limit but that doesn't mean that there is that it's a standard area that you can use the mean value theorem you can't actually use the mean value theorem for a function like the gauss function because there is no two arithmetic means that you can multiply so this in the case of such a function all you're ever doing is you're approximating the value and so what you have here is the area uh, under this curve this red curve and it's approximately equal to 2.506 whatever and if you wanted to make it 1 then you divide this by the square root of 2 times pi but it doesn't really matter in uh, probability it doesn't even matter with the z functions because ultimately you're looking at a ratio and it doesn't this factor here in front doesn't actually matter one bit it cancels out when you take the ratio so in any case um, the interesting thing also about this function is that when you multiply the y coordinates and the x coordinates of the point of tangency it's always equal to the slope right so it's a special kind of function where you can find the derivative just by multiplying the x and y values of the point and this is how you actually get the uh, approximation using this binomial that I've shown you here. So uh, that is a, a special kind of function where you can't use the mean value theorem and you, you, ca you can't even use the other uh, flawed theorem, this, uh, this definition here, because try finding, uh, try using the complex Gauss function in this particular uh, formula and you'll <laughs> end up not being able to do it. Okay. So in any case, that's pretty much it. So I've basically shown you a comparison here on the left between the old flawed calculus and the new calculus, in which the answer is always right, and there's no infinity or ill-formed concepts. So please also remember to become a subscriber, share this with your friends, uh, and download my free ebook. There will be a link also in the details section. So I'll place a link to all these uh, applets and articles in the detail section. Well, uh, this is the New Calculus Channel. My name is John Gabriel, and until next time, goodbye.